Hey, it's me. Uh, I'm going to try to make, well, I'm going to show you how to make carbonated water today. Uh, I've been doing this since March of 2009. So here is basically the idea. We got uh, CO2 in this bottle. I ordered that regulator online. I think it was 50 bucks US. And I bought 15 feet of hose for a few bucks. I can't remember. Anyway, you can get all this stuff. So I'm just going to open up this little valve here. So that should be around 55 psi of CO2. On the end of the hose, I have a uh, <laughs> tire filler. And it locks on to the top. And what I did, so there's a little fitting in here, a little barb fitting. And uh, yeah, that's what I did to be able to fill CO2 into a bottle. As soon as I find it. Okay, right. so I went to Canadian Tire and I bought a valve stem for a truck tire, truck rim. And I drilled the hole out and uh, I popped it through. So that's how we get CO2 in a bottle. So we got a plain old Safeway bottle, iced tea. And uh, these are, I read on the internet that they're rated for 200 psi, so 55 pounds is fine. I got some cold water ice water in this jug. I'm going to make a liter. I found that if you put about half as much water as the container holds, you do better. So to make a liter of pop with syrup, you need 960 milliliters and it takes 40 milliliters of syrup. Hopefully I have 40 milliliters. But anyway, about that much. I got this funnel to fill this thing. probably spill quite a bit, but there we go. Oh, that's pretty good. I'll lift it up a little lower. And the rest. Okay, so the bottle's filled now, or half filled. We take the cap, and I try to squeeze out the, uh, as much air by collapsing the bottle as possible. Alright, so now we get the bottle. It's almost full of just water. I hook this little, here, let me see if we can get a shot of this from the banana, the banana bin here. So, I don't know if that's going to get it, but... Okay, so you can see that's hooked on, and uh, I'm just going to grab the bottle and the hose, and uh, you just shake it like this. And what happens is the cold water allows the CO2 to mix with it. So you don't have to do this for about, I don't know, 20 seconds or so to get carbonated water. And the carbon dioxide is constantly filling the bottle as the water absorbs it so that uh, you get the most carbonation possible. I think that's good. Now we got to uh, take crack up the cap. Okay, so now we got carbonated water. I have some soda stream syrups 
This is pink grapefruit diet. I'm gonna take off the lid, and the cap acts as the measure. And there's a line in there. 40 milliliters. And we'll put a regular cap on it. We'll just kind of mix around. There's a little bit of syrup. Just wipe that up. Okay, we should have carbonated water. Carbonated cold water. Here we go. So, go out and buy, rent the CO2 tank, buy a regulator, get one of them, get one of them, get the 2 liter bottle, and as you can see, it's pretty carbonated, great for a pump. It's delicious. Let's see if we can hear it. Can you hear the dishwasher? That's it.